I just copped two ounces of some fire from Japan. We got that Japanese two ounce 30 piece Dagashi set. Japan 2 OZ. Japan two ounce. Japanese candy and snacks. What does Dagashi mean? Dagashi Japanese refers to cheap candies and snack foods. Comparable to American penny candy. Okay, I got the cheap stuff. I got Japanese mids. Anyway, it looks delicious. I've been trying to record this video on my Twitch stream because that's where I get high when I have the munchies usually. But I just haven't been in the mood for it, so I got nice and high before this. But you should follow me on Twitch for a smoke session. We go live after 9 p.m. Eastern almost every night. But let's check out this Japanese candy here. We got a lot of cool stuff in here. And I'm probably not going to try everything. There's like 30 things in here. But we'll probably try 10 or so. And if we have a lot of fun with it, maybe we'll make a couple more videos with this. But I do have another box of candies from another country. I did Canadian snacks or Canadian munchies at the end of last year. We're going to try Japan now. And I have a few other countries on the list to do in the future. So let me know what country snacks I should try. Maybe I haven't thought of them, but, but there's like a lot of good stuff in here. Some of these in the front have like the same artwork on it. So I assume they're the same brand, but we're going to get, a, I guess, a lot of different flavors. And I think this pamphlet here is like a little cheat sheet, which tells you what it is and a little bit about the flavors and i just wanted to show you guys the little kids beer at the end here just the last line follow the instructions below to get your naughty on all right let's try some of these out i'm gonna bust this pamphlet open so i at least have a cheat sheet okay this is like soft i don't know what this is it's like spongy it feels like a marshmallow swirl marshuro a soft and fluffy marshmallow made with one white strip and a pink strip that's this yeah, that just tastes like a marshmallow. It doesn't even taste Japanese. It just tastes regular. All right, we got a little a guy with a blue jacket singing to some flowers. All right, let's see what it looks like. I don't, I don't know. Not that India's gonna kill me, right? What the fuck is this? What is this? It's, it's like a, it's like a big Cheeto or something. Smells kind of familiar. All right, I'm just gonna take a bite. I think it crunches. It's literally like a big Cheeto. This is a giant Cheeto puff. Huh. So you're in Japan. You want a snack. You're like, just give me a giant Cheeto instead of a can. It's like a Cheeto candy bar. It's got a hole in the middle. You can fill it with more cheese. Put some fucking squirt some cheese whiz in there. All right. That was the Cheeto. All right. I'm going to try a few more of the. There's a lot of these little bars. I'm assuming they're just like the same thing, but this is going to be a teriyaki flavored one. If that's the case, I might skip past the rest of these. Except this one says teriyaki. It's got the word teriyaki at the top. None of the other ones say anything. All right, let's try the teriyaki. I love teriyaki sauce. If you ever go to Panda Express and you get the teriyaki chicken there, first off, it's the best thing they have. They're not loading you up with vegetables. You're just getting chicken. Second off, the teriyaki sauce is so good. Teriyaki flavored Tito. I mean, I don't hate it. I'm never just sitting around thinking about teriyaki flavored Cheetos, though. Like, that's a weird snack. Never eating teriyaki chicken. Like, I wish it was a Cheeto version of this. This would be so good. All right, so there's a few more of these Cheeto bars, and they, they just all feel like they're going to be different flavored. I don't even know the flavor on them. Little eyeballs on that dog. Looks like McDonald's. Oh, and there's a bag of Cheeto cheese puffs in here, even. Oh, but they got onion heads. Do you think they're onion flavored? That is an interesting one. So there's a lot of Cheetos in here. All right, let's try this one. Chocolate shimmy corn stick, a succulent mix of milk chocolate and crispy corn puff in a star-shaped tube of yumminess. Star-shaped tube. Okay, this is going to be a star-shaped Cheeto, but it's chocolate flavored. This is all just puffed corn. I've eaten one marshmallow and like four sticks of puffed corn already. Here's another one. Chocolate puffed corn. This, like, this is cereal. Like, they, they chop this up and make cocoa puffs. Like, what are we doing? It's like almost gooey on the inside. Maybe it's just because it's so airy. It kind of melts in your mouth a little bit. Hey, yo, I like this one. Chocolate flavored Cheetos. Let's go. Okay, the star one is good. All right, this one has been catching my eye. I got to try it out. The mini bottle? It says mini bottle on here like six times. Do I eat the whole bottle? What is it? Is it on my cheat sheet? Mini bottle sherbet. 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 Such a weird word. It's either strawberry or cider flavor. Wait, lemon, strawberry, or cider flavor? What's blue? Blue's probably not lemon or strawberry, right? That would be pink or yellow. Just a big old bottle of THCA crystals. All right, let's try some sherbet. Like, just chug the whole thing? It just looks like little, little lumps of sugar. I feel like I just poured sugar in my mouth. I mean, I'm going to do it again, but... So the flavors are lemon, 
strawberry or cider? Isn't cider made out of apples? Could it be apple flavored? It doesn't say what flavor on here, but I'm gonna assume it's the cider one. Oh, this one looks cool. What is that? Got some little prescription M&Ms here, guys. Transport animal or number chocolate. Mini blister packs filled with chocolate buttons covered in a crispy candy shell and various animal. Okay, this is an ambulance. I'm seeing it now. The candy ambulance. <laughs> it's kind of weird to have the candy like this, like a, a blister pack. Just pop a single M&M. Oh, jump. It's like M&Ms, but like a lot of work. Okay, okay, okay. Not as good as an M&M. Maybe not as good as uh, the Canadian Smarties, which are like M&M's. Still pretty good. But you see, it, it took me 30 seconds to eat five M&M's. Like, this is a pain in the ass. But you can eat less candy if it's a lot of work. I don't know, there's a plus. I haven't eaten that much, but damn, it's hitting me. Ame chan candy? Ami chan Japanese character or other popular themed candies? Hello Kitty, Pokemon. Is that Hello Kitty in a, with bunny ears? I don't know, dude. Does Hello Kitty say anything? Like, what is it? Is, is it like, yo, I'm Hello Kitty. Like, let's go do stuff. I just, I've never, I've seen it, right? But have I heard it? All right, I think this is yellow or Hello Kitty candy. Okay. It's like a, a hard candy, like a stickless lollipop. You know what I'm talking about? Well, fuck, I didn't think about that. Now I'm gonna be sucking on this for a minute. I'll probably just bite into it like I would do with any candy. Because who wants to suck on a thing for 20 minutes? Your mom. Anyway, um, I'll pick out the next couple and then I'll just get ready for it. Con Pedo, a packet of sugar-based candy made by repeatedly coating a sugar syrup over a core consisting of grain of coarse sugar repeated as the grain grows over several days, eventually becoming a ball covered with tiny bulges. It's sugar-covered sugar. I love it. Oops, I bet Hello Kitty. Let me chomp that bad boy down. Yo, honestly, the Hello Kitty one was really fucking good. So let's try the sugar cover sugar. Oh, it's like little rock candy. You ever had rock candy? It's like little bits of it that are nice and soft. Kind of cool looking. Like little rock candy bits. I like it. I see a candy bar in here I want to try. I feel like I tried about half of them. I don't want this video to go too long. But maybe we'll try a couple more. Why is that a fish on it? What the fuck is that? Yatara, a pack of thin strips made from grilled surumi, a paste made predominantly from grinded fish. What? Grinded fish? I could have just left it in there and then I never would have. All right, I got to try this one for the fucking video. All right, Japanese fish. This is kids candy. This is candy. Fish strips is candy. All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna do one. We're gonna do. What if it's the best thing I've ever eaten? Hey, what? It's strips of. It's fish. Grinded fish, mild in taste, low in calories. It's a great beer or soda companion. It feels like I'm chewing on a shoelace. I do not love this. It's weirdly not bad, but also not good. It's like a cat treat. Is this a cat treat? For cats. Fuck. Okay, that's by far the worst one. All right, we'll try a couple more. This video has been uh, recording for a bit now. I don't want it to go too long. Rila Kuma. I'm just assuming it's a big old gummy bear. It's like really, really in there. <sighs> Got him. Okay. That's just like a really sticky gummy. Really, really sticky. My fingers are so sticky after that. So most of the candy seems like the gummy bear I just ate doesn't taste too crazy different than a regular gummy bear. This tasted just like a lot of rock candy I've had. The Hello Kitty hard candy I had tasted just like regular hard candy. The fish thing was weird. There's some gum in here. I think I'm gonna chew a piece of this. Some Japanese gumballs called the Fusen. This is another bubble gum in here. These are strawberry flavored. Obviously with a strawberry on it. Really good. Decent strawberry flavor. Just helped getting that fish taste out of my mouth. It's still there. That gum felt a little weird. I just spit it out, but I feel like it was almost breaking apart. Like it's not quite gum, but I don't know. I didn't chew it for that long. I want to try this, uh, this chocolate taro bar. Crispy puffed corn filled with peanuts covered in a light milk chocolate. Seems like something I can fuck with here. They really use the puffed corn a lot. I feel like candy bars here sometimes have like puffed rice, puffed corn, got the wafers, nice little variety. This is pretty good. 
It just like, it tastes like a chocolate covered Cheeto. A lot of these are just puffed corn with a flavor. All right, I said that was the last one, but then I saw this Kit Kat. It had the Kit Kat logo on it. The Nestle Mini Matcha Kit Kat, made with traditional green tea for a more adult friendly sweetness. Adult friendly. All right, let's try the Kit Kat here. Oh, it's green as fuck. Wait, this is a Kit Kat? You don't even break these Kit Kats? You just get a, you just get a, is it a kid or is it a cat? Which is it? Is this a kid or a cat? <laughs> A cat. Green tea flavor Kit Kat. That's not bad. So overall, I would say pretty good stuff in there. I really only dislike the fish one. And I probably could have told you that before I ate it. Oh, it's made out of fish and it's candy? Yeah, I don't like that, obviously. But a lot of puffed corn. These are, it's it's a uh, Degashi. It's cheaper candy. It's not like your premium fucking gourmet chocolate gourmet candy. It's just like the cheap whatever shit, you know? But pretty good. Most of it's just sugar. I really like these fucking rock candy things. They're pretty fucking good. But I would say pretty good overall. I might try some of these other things out I didn't quite try yet on my Twitch stream, so make sure you follow me over there. And I did mention I do have a box of candy. It's candy from Turkey. I think there's about a dozen items in it. But what other countries should I try the munchies or the candy from? Let me know in the comments. And if you missed my video where I tried the Canadian munchies, I'll put that for you right here. I appreciate you watching and hanging out with me, and I hope you have a lit day, my dudes.